don't know what my hair is doing. It's no longer curly. It's a little bit curly. I like it when it's curly, but like when I curled my hair last, I had this like I burnt my ear, but like usually when you burn your ear on curling tongs, it's just like a little like dab, and but somehow I got this line of a curling tong like with the, the whole edge of my ear. It was savage. So like damage. <laughs> I wish my hair was just curly like it used to be <laughs> but I have got a little clip clip plait <laughs> little plait in my hair I've been doing these little plaits for years like I think it was when I found out that like my heritage was really like viking you know um and you know it's very traditional and a lot of viking things to have lots of plaits in your hair and yeah, so I've just been doing that for like since I was like a kid. I go through these phases of having loads of little plaits in my hair. I love it. Um, that was a tangent. <laughs> I might be talking a bit weird because my teeth. Uh, my teeth don't like me. I've got really bad like teeth pain down the bottom on these four. I need to go to the dentist. But it's savage. Um, so I've just been like brushing them and putting Bongella on them a lot. I've been brushing them more than usual. You know, obviously I've brushed them, but like I've been brushing them more than usual. Trying to keep them. But yeah. I'm stressed, to be honest. I'm a bit like scatty. Because. I got up today, like, I had the whole, like, plan, I was like, I got therapy tomorrow, and I, okay, no, go back, let's go back, so, where am I, I'm dark, hi, so, uh, I had, um, what am I trying to say, where's my train, choo choo, where's the train, I forgot, So, last week, I had my last session of therapy with my therapist because she's retiring. She's becoming a painter or something. I don't know, but good for her. She, yeah, but she, she broke the news to me a while ago, you know, um, and said, you know, I'm going to try and get you a new therapist. We'll figure out who. Um, and it'll be, it'll be good, hopefully. And I was like, yeah, sure. Because, like, my big thing with therapists is I hate starting over. I hate telling them everything from day one again. You know, because, like, I don't want to be like, oh, everything's happened to me. But, like, shit has happened. You know. This, you know. So, like, I don't want to have to go through everything from the start again. But, like, the main thing that is that, uh, well, me, therapist, the family think caused my main like caused my DID I have been talking about for years I've been trying to be outspoken about it for years to get people but to believe me I guess um so it's gotten quite repetitive to the point where it's like I don't want to have to repeat it again I've said it to so many people at this point lots of people know my story and yeah it's it's hard moving on to a new therapist because you have to start again and explain things and it, even not just like the trauma like um having to explain like oh who your mum is so my mum and there's my grandma there's my granddad and there's my uncle but he's he's similar to my he's similar to my age and you have to explain the dynamics you have to explain who your partner is who you live with it it just gets tedious after a while having to explain it all again especially when i've had a year's worth of therapy with this recent one you know i was nervous about doing that again um because she obviously knew everything i could go in there and i could just say oh yeah my roommate or i could say casey and she knew who that was and i could talk about my mum and she knew what my mum was like it you know you know you know you know so yeah 
when uh, they were looking for a therapist for me, they, I, don't, I hate my hair right now, what's going on? Uh, it's going back up. <laughs> oh, speaking of my mum, I always look like my mum when I put my hair up like this. She doesn't ever have like a fringe and I very much have my mum's face shape and eyes. So like this just looks like my mum when I put my hair up like this. This is cute, that'll do. Um, yeah, where was I? Shit. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so they're looking through for a new therapist for me. And um, she mentioned the therapist that did the group session and said, you know, if I can get her, I will try. Um, I know that you really got on with her and she knows who you are. She knows your history from the group therapy because you had to do that. You know, I had to tell everyone in there what happened again. Um, so like she knows everything. She knows who I am. She knows what I'm like. She knows I have DID. She knows um, my di family dynamic. She knows a lot of stuff already. So like I don't have to, if I got her, I wouldn't have to start fresh. It would feel more comfortable it would feel just like a, a stepping stone and also I was like I didn't mention this to my therapist you know but like me and you me and you guys we know that I was discussing a while ago you know do I want to switch therapists to her so like I had the debate and I eventually just stuck with the same one and then a few weeks later she told me she was leaving anyway and I was like you kind of made my decision for me <laughs> but yeah, so eventually she did say that she managed to get her and that she's going to be my new therapist and that's exciting. It's nerve-wracking nerve that, you know, I do have to somewhat start again because she doesn't know everything. Um, but I'm excited, you know. I got on with my last therapist, she was lovely. Um, I feel like she was a lot older than uh, me and, you know, she was just, she was an older woman. Um, and yeah we got on i get on with old old people a lot for some reason you know i i am an old woman at heart i think um you know we spiritually kind of got on very well we understood each other but like there's also a part of me that wants to like gossip and wants to um be a bit of a bitch you know i come into therapy sometimes and i'm just like oh god this has happened and oh so annoying you know i want to like bitch about my roommate or bitch about casey or something and then she'd be like and then how does this reflect on you and i'm like no just let me bitch come on be my be my therapist and let me bitch you know i want to i want the therapist like in the films that that lets you have a bit of a bitch um and this new therapist, she's a lot younger, um, not that age is a problem, you know, like I said, I get on with both, uh, but she, we do really get on, and I feel like if I came to her and I was like, oh my god, this happened, she'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> tell me, you know, and um, yeah, like, I, I remember once I, um, it was after the session that I told, the group session that I told them that I had DID, and then she said to me, you know, if you ever want to talk about anything after the session, let me know. So then after one of the sessions, I, you know, asked, could we have a chat about my DID? And we just sat for like two hours, just chatting about it, discussing it. She was asking questions, wondering why things were. And that's what I want, you know, I want someone that's a bit more proactive. You know, I was always a bit scared to talk about my DID with my current, well, my old therapist now. Um, not that she, like, she didn't judge me for it, you know, never, never once did she judge me. Um, she believed me, but she didn't really know anything about the disorder, she didn't really know how to treat it, um, so she would just kind of be like, oh, that's interesting, you know, um, whereas, like, I had a therapist, um, she was, a, like, a, that's when I was really, I was, like, a teenager, I don't know how old I was late teens yeah oh, I was after my diagnosis so I was like 19 20 um and it was a like 
short session like sh it was like 16 sessions and that was it you can't get any more because she worked for a like community charity sort of thing um so uh she was really good though you know like i used to go to her like if you look back on my channel there was a brief period where i was having all of these rele revelations and figuring out all these stuff and i could communicate a lot clearer and um you know like yeah i was discovering a lot more altars things were opening up more that's when we, we discovered the staircase and the inner world started to open up and be a lot more bright you know it was because when i went to this therapist she um would help me figure things out she helped me understand why you know like a good example is i went to her and we had just seen uh, i'd seen benjamin running around in the headspace and he used to terrify me he um if you don't know benjamin he he's about three or four i think he doesn't speak at all he uh has very blonde curly hair um wears a little like suit thing bow tie he's he's adorable but like he just sits there and is like and it's terrifying like why why child why just say something do something else um but he he's basically a mini me of toast like if you look at their like headshots, Toast just looks like the older version of Benjamin. It's, it's so bizarre. Like the curly hair, they have the same eye colour, same face shape. They just look exactly the same, except for the younger and older versions. And it just confused me. And I was like, why? So I went to this therapist and I was like, you know, we found Benjamin and he looks like Toast and he has his demeanour and it really concerns me. Um, and she immediately figured it out she was like that's your uncle and i was like what and he and she was like because my uncle is i don't want to talk too much about trauma but my uncle is the cause um he had a very uh switchy not like did switchy but very um up and down personality i guess um and that's immediately reflected in Benjamin and Toast. If he came in, my uncle, loud, swearing, shouting, that was good. He was in a good mood, which is what Toast is. He's, he's, he's loud, he's shouty, but he's not threatening. He's not mean, he's lovely. Whereas if he came in quiet, that would be a warning sign. And Benjamin... I get the eerie feeling from and he's quiet so like my therapist pieced that together and it made everything so much clearer to me and yeah it was like I just started figuring all these things out you know and having a therapist that can help me figure things out is probably really helpful I'm really spacing out now <laughs> Drink, cold drink. Cold, cold, cold. So yeah. The reason I was so saying that is because this therapist, this new therapist she was like that too you know she was trying to figure things out trying to um help me figure out who they are in my head and what they they like what they want what they need why they're there all of that and and it was it felt really healing at the time with my old one and i think that's kind of what's been missing with this current one and i'm hoping the new one will help that and be better oh god brain don't do this now i shouldn't have spoke about shit <laughs> oh 
like my face doesn't look real. Hi, Sally. So yeah, I am. I the reason I'm stressed. I'm trying to circle back around. I've been talking about shit. I thought I had my new therapy today. I thought I was having my first session of new therapy today. Now, but I. Uh, I yeah. So now it's tomorrow. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's my pr <laughs> We leave it unedited on this channel. <laughs> you see the juicy details, you see the ugly bits. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I was about to burst into song then. If any of you know her, if you, any of you know Heather's The Musical, um just the line we could show our ugly bits just came into my head and if you know you know <laughs> oh there's my pillow oh, i was looking for this <laughs> there there we go nice how did i not fucking see that that's mental i got an unus honest jumper <laughs> Yeah, I ordered it obviously months and months and months ago when Unis Anas was still alive. Rest in peace. No, sorry. Rest in peace. Um, and yeah, it finally arrived and now I'm crying because I live in this now. This is my favourite thing. I wear it for like two days straight and then I wash it and then I wear it for like three days straight and then I wash it and then, yeah. This is my favourite thing now. That's probably really gross, but depression <laughs> oh god i missed you guys how you been <laughs> oh fuck it out mental so yeah i'm stressed <laughs> i'm spacey now what else did i talk about i was gonna talk about something else I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, I'm just a struggle today. We woke up with no power as well. And that was just like, I was stressing because I was like, oh my God, therapy today, no power. So like we scraped together the pennies we could to get some. I power walked to the shop get some electric get back and realise no it's not today it's tomorrow so now I've got a fucking because I don't know if the power's going to last until tomorrow so I might as well do this whole fucking jig again <laughs> tomorrow but 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 the good upside my therapy used to be at 10 in the morning which for somebody with severe in insomnia that goes to sleep at like 5 every night that's not good <laughs> So I'm, I didn't even think I was about to say, I'm glad it's been moved, I didn't tell you it's been moved. It's been moved to two o'clock now. Yes. So I can at least get some sleep if I do end up staying up till 5, 6 a.m. But. <laughs> Stress. Stressful. It's all stressful. It's always, it's always, it's always. But yeah, oh, that's, that's probably all I gotta say. I gotta say, I gotta say thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for watching. I do want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's helped us this uh, the past few days or while. I don't know what time is. You know, people say, you know, can I help you? And they say, I know I can only spare fiver you know i'm sorry it's not much you know but when we have to scrape together like three five quid for electric fiver is lots so thank you to everybody who's helped us i feel like i don't say it enough i say it in the messages obviously but 
official. Thank you. Thank you to them. We, we put on our Instagram about a uh, pair of th these, I, I want to call them like hearing aids, but they're not hearing aids, you know, specifically. They are like these tunnel tube things that you put in your ears and it's supposed to calm the noise down. Um, we have always had hearing issues, like we can hear, I can hear very clearly. <laughs> Sometimes Casey will be talking to me and I'm like, did you say something? Um, but like we can hear, you know, I can hear myself right now. I can hear if I tap things, I can hear music, but like for some reason if the TV's on, I just cannot pick out the words, like the background noise in the show, background noise in the room, I just can't hear it. So like. I have to have subtitles on, if I'm listening to somebody talk in a crowd, I have to lip read. I've lip been lip reading since I was very little. Um, I even learnt sign language as a teenager to try and try that. Um, so like hearing has always been an issue and I could never figure out what it was. So I just kind of adapted with like subtitles, lip reading. And then I saw these things and it's like, supposed to calm all the muffled noise and you're supposed to just focus in on the sound that you want to hear you know not like magic but yeah and uh yeah so some incredible person said they would send us some so thank you to them too you know i'm just incredibly excited to try them because they might change my life you know i've been having these issues since before i can remember and can you imagine just a little bit of plastic changes somebody's life like that? That would be crazy. Like, I guess glasses do, don't they? People put on those, like, uh, colour change glasses and then they lose their shit. <laughs> um, I'm just too excited. Yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. Thank you for subscribing to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in to Steph's Pack Lunch, if you watched that. Um... For those of you who still haven't seen it and would like to, um, uh, specifically like my international viewers, my American, Australian, New Zealand, Canada, all those places and more, um, I know you're having issues signing into Channel 4 um, because you're not in the UK. I've heard that some people have tried to use a VPN and get go to the Isle of Man, not to mainland England. If you want to try that, then try that. But I am going to arrange a live stream showing you guys the thing. It will be a, like a live react because I think that that counts. That, does, that doesn't count as copyright because I will be in shot. It would be a live react, you know. Um, so I'm going to try and do that. Uh, but I need to get Casey to help me figure out how to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Because, I don't know, I have no idea. Like, I film on my phone and just upload it. I can barely edit. So Casey's going to help me figure out how to do, like, you can see me and the screen. And I can show you and we can comment. And, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. I'm excited to do that. I might go and pester them now about it, see when we can do it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. Um, slash if you haven't seen it, you know, slash any suggestions um yeah yeah i'm gonna go this has been a long one um i miss you all i'll hopefully upload more um yeah maybe give you some topics to talk about you know i i um the main reason i don't film is i don't really have anything to talk about except things happening um and nothing really happens in my head lately <laughs> communication <laughs> fog um so yeah maybe give me some topic suggestions that would be great okay i'm gonna go i'll see you later bye goodbye